football and everyone's upset about it and they're slightly unlucky but it's dangerous play. Do, do you think Whether he meant it or not is irrelevant. Yeah, do you think it's the case though, I, I, often in these situations you think the referee doesn't know the game as in from a playing point of view because as a player he's got to go up to try and control that ball. If he lets it go his manager will have a go at him. He's going to control it. His foot has to be up. The player comes in, now he just about sees him coming in. Yeah. He's about an inch away from the ball when it hits our below her, and he follows through. It's a foul, it's a yellow card in my book, but I can see why he sent him But on. look, if he's flying towards a player, whether he knows it or not, with his studs up at chest height, he is plainly endangering it's the safety of the opponent. It's, it's dangerous, please. It, it, it is, it is. It's a red card. But he's... It, but as Lee's saying, to balance that, he is not aware of that player coming. He's thinking he's got well, to control well, well, that ball yeah. in the you air. You said he's not aware, Garrett. Does he not think there'll be other yeah. footballers on the pitch? Well, no, no, but look, he's looking entirely at the ball to bring it down and control it. Now, at this last minute, now he sees the play impossible for him to pull out. But I'm not just. But I think the referee, I can see well, why. Well, we can be critical of the referee. Decision. We obviously the referees are very quick to make the decision. He waited actually a couple of minutes. Yeah, he did. So he gave yeah, himself yeah. that bit of no, brain space. No doubt spoke to his assistant who said, listen, we think it's dangerous. It's a red card. Mm -hmm. you're, you're saying it's like he wasn't aware of the player. You have to be aware of all the footballers on the pitch. Yeah. Does he think he's going to have 20 hours yeah. to himself? Well, he, uh, I, I don't think it's intentional. No, that's, not, that's irrelevant. That, uh, no, no, I know okay. it's irrelevant, but what I'm saying is uh, that's where I think he's very unlucky and Manchester United are very unlucky to go out. Of course, but also, if he, if he doesn't make the challenge at that point, if he pulls out for fear of getting a red card or challenge, endangering the safety of an opponent and he's lost the ball and he goes down the wing, then he's going to look a bit of a clown in front of his own crowd, isn't he? He'll be, he'll be, he'll be, he'll be, he'll be that, accused that, of That is the out. point. If he looks and he sees the player coming and still goes for it and hits him, I think you can say straight red card. At the, I think there's a, enough ambiguity there to give him the benefit and give him a yellow. Okay. Uh, that's why I but think. it's possibly the ref might argue and the assessor might argue it was a brave decision, Roy. It's a brave thing to do here. The match well, it's point. brave or not, it was the right decision. It doesn't matter if it's brave or not. And listen, Nanny's a quick boy to go down anyway. He's not the bravest player on the planet. So, <laughs> yeah. listen, no, I think the referee got it right. Whether you, got, you know your fans and it, it kind of changed the course of the game and you can argue all day, it was dangerous play. Whether he meant it or not, doesn't matter.